All right, it's Roger from Mud Fossil University once again. And as you can see, uh, this is a very interesting um, formation. And this is actually in the desert. And um, I'm very conflicted about showing this because it is, uh, it's a, a absolutely spectacular and scary. <laughs> now, the only reason I am showing this is because everybody should know this if anybody knows this. Because if somebody knows this is it's wrong and bad, then, then maybe bad things can happen. But let's look at this here. You see this? This is obviously something serious, a trackway or whatever you want to call it. You see all these other things? They look like cars and whatever was riding around out here. Well, it's not. If you look at it closely, you're going to see there's all little blocks in these, these formations. They're not just two stripes. Now, this is but let's go back out of this and look and see where we are here all right uh i followed this all the way back this particular line all the way all the way all the way all the way and i will show you where it started it was the bright line right there you see that bright line you see that you see this you see it coming out that bright line? Alright, you see all these little wiggly looking things forcing their way into this black area? And that particular one being so much stronger than the others and ends up coming down in here with this darkness. And then it goes in and all everybody else see it continues to turn dark again here. And then they all seem to follow around the edge of this. Okay. And what is the edge of this? And what is this that we're talking about? It's this right here. And if you go to an any anatomist, they will tell you that that represents an egg developing uh, and splitting. And this let's look at this carefully you see what's happening here? it looks like mountains and so forth but look at this this is like red blood it travels up here into this which is an interface down and it interfaces again to where that new cell is taking effect now look at what we have here there's the blood, it comes up, you got this little matty effect here, which, and I'll come in close, and you can see what it is, it's quite obvious. Now, and then you have this, what appears to be some form of a nucleus material that's in here. And, and you see all of these fibrils running out of here, uh, down to the edge. Now, let's go in a little closer and look to see what we do have here. You see all this? It comes up over here, and then it makes this down here, and then it it makes some form of an interface to this. Now, once we get, and then and there's a, there's another one developing right here that's identical to this. You see the red over here? Can you see that in the picture? Yes, you can. All right, there's your red. Here's your red here. Right. It's, going to, it's going to work its way up to that pool the same way it did with this one. You've got all of this mineralization here. You see it? You see that's over there? Same thing. You see the lake here, the lake here, the same looking stuff. It's, it's, it's splitting and dev developing into another set of cells. And over here you have the interface going into this cloudy looking developing mass which it, on, on a very close inspection shows these strange looking formations in little clusters and I know they don't have a double helix look to them now but they may be doing something underneath the surface here but there is a lot of those little of these particular looking structures and then you see these looking things here like almost like I don't know what to say. They're very strange looking globular structures and there's that, what I'm going to say is DNA again. 
And if you look at it close inside of it, you can see that there is, there's, um, this one's hard to see, but there's, there's little spots which for all the world are the CTAGs as far as I'm concerned, if this is what it is. Now, this would be the line that would split. That's my interpretation, and let's look at it closely. And you can see that there's a, a whole area over here that is this fascia, and it comes out of here, and where is it going? It is going from this developing embryo, which is traveling forward to meet the placenta, is what I see. And I will show you a lot more information why I say that. I mean, it's just I, I, I can't tell you uh, much more than uh, what I can show you. <laughs> it's obviously moving in that direction. I mean, we, anybody can see that. Then as we come closer, you're going to see it's like a tractor beam of fascia pulling it up to what is going to appear to me to be the implantation of the uh, placenta. You see this? Look. It's being pulled in here. All of these whew, pulling it right in there. And we went back seven years on the video, on the um, Google Maps. You know, they only publish them every so often, I guess. Um, I, I, a fellow working with me, Val, um, we were working this together, and he did. He went back and he got all these shots for me, and we, and we analyzed them together, and this is what we came up with. So, this area over here, originally, as this first started seven years ago, it was like a rocket ship shooting out of here. It was just like a solid block of fibers coming out of there. And then, over the course of time, it ended up being like this. You see that? But if you look closely at these things, you're going to see these are not just little tubes. There's a block, 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 block. These are fascia. Fascia is the network of fibers in the body that touches every cell. I mean, thousands of times, obviously. So there's, if this is cells, and they damn sure look like cells to me. Uh, and, and if that's a fact, they are almost absolutely the communications network for the body. So let's talk about that later. But here we go with a placental attachment. And any doctor can tell you that a, that a vein has these little clamps. They clamp a vein off. Now, I don't know if this is a vein or not, but I can see this red-looking swishy thing coming over there that it's some kind of a or it's leaking and it's swishing over this way I don't know what to say about that but this is an implantation of some sort that is alongside they have veins and arteries and you have you know, normally this would be the artery which is open it has no clamp that's the vein which has clamps that's just the way it works these two I would think were like the um, nerves or something along that line. Uh, you know, you get a good anatomist, they, they'll tell you what that is. If it is what it is. But I can tell you for sure, for a fact, looking at this, it is what it is. Now, you can, you can do whatever you want to think, but if you can come up with a better thought for what this is, God bless you, that's all I can say. To you. Now, let's say that that is implanted in the wall of the uterus, which is what would happen. And then it would suck that egg in, right here, which looks like it's doing it to me, and it's actually leaving a trail. Uh, it looks like a little frog jumping over there. Now, where did this thing come from, and what is all this black stuff? Well, if you know what happens when an when a, a egg gets fertilized, it only allows one guy in, and I showed you the guy I think is the guy that got in there. Now, all of these things down here, these are the tails of the ones that got shut out. You see, this is the one guy over here, really, he's, that's a powerhouse, that guy. Now, all the rest of them got shut out and they're turning black from dying. You see, they're all turning black from dying. All right, that one got into the middle. Now, where did they come from? All right, here it is. This goes way back here, you see. Coming right out of here and coming up here and there's our 
egg over here. And what is this? This is actually sperm. Looks to me like those are the sperm. You see them coming out? Swish, swish, swish. Heads are twisted over. I don't know what that, why that is, but that's looking like that's what it is to me. And they come all out here. And then, whoops. All right, so that almost looks like, you know, that's an ejaculation. That's, that's all I can tell you. I'm seeing what you're seeing. And I'm, you know, this is just biology. I'm not making any of this stuff up. And it stops there, apparently. And this might be some form of uh, lubricant that it comes ahead of it. I have no idea. I'm seeing what you see. Because there is going to be some kind of uh, fluid that, that takes it in. Uh, however, this appears to be the first event up here that actually did the... Uh, did the impregnation and these are the guys and as they hit you see them all squiggly coming in here that's exactly what you see in these uh, these photographs and it's all on this side you don't see them on this side they're all attacking from the side that they can attack from that they're coming in from and now they're all being killed off because they're no longer of any benefit to that egg and it, I mean, it's just going over there. All I can say is what I'm seeing. Now, like I said, I'm doing this with deep, deep conflict inside of my mind here that, of, of what I should be doing or I shouldn't be doing. But I can tell you it's just what it is. And the whole earth is covered with this stuff. Look at this. That's not sand dunes. Who is the people that came up with the idea that none of this stuff means anything? It's all just sand dunes. It blows like that. No, absolutely not. No way in the world is this a natural event. Now, I don't know what to t say about it. I mean, it's natural, but it's pretty damn unnatural to me. And, of course, there's a dragon up here. There's animals and creatures all over the world. The dragon is up here. And this is not hard. This, well, this is nothing you can do, argue with. There's the dragon's head. There's his neck. Is that all fluty stuff that goes down his head, uh, down his neck, all the way down? And these are all the dragon scales. You see them? See that? These are dragon scales. And that's his neck running down there, and it runs and it runs. You see the dragon scales? That's not something that grows in the desert like that. Or it's just erosion. <laughs> and that's what a geologist is going to tell you. It's they—they they really have a serious problem. <laughs> now, look, and the other thing is this didn't happen long ago because you see that? That's what you call effluent from a decaying, corroding, rotting body. And that is what happens. And that happened not that long ago because look, it's right there. Now, here's his neck again. Here's his head. And it goes down here. Here's his neck. goes all the way down. His stomach is way down in here. These are his legs, and if you keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going, and let's just stop over here, it keeps going, his tail flashes way out over here, but let's stop over here because you can see it quite easily. This is still his dragon tail decaying, rotting, decomposing tail in the desert. And that is a dragon, and then he is biting a fish, a gigantic, enormous fish right there and that is the fish and he's biting it and setting his fish fin on fire and that was written about there's a fish's eye there's a fish's scales water goes this way this is the fish's tail uh, you can see it goes around like this and there's his tail swish 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 goes up around back over this way here's his fin that comes over the top of fishes the way they are now look at this wait i show you this here's your dragon which i showed you a minute ago and here's his throat and he's spitting out some nasty, nasty, nasty stuff, which I'll show you right here, which is not your average nasty stuff. And it came down here, and it exploded on his fin and set it on fire. You see right here? Fire all come down this way. And that is what happened to his fin. Here's his fin. It caught on fire. 
and that's that's the fire all over his fin you see this and that nasty nasty stuff got all the way down here he's eating his body up and destroying his body and rotting his body look at it it's being destroyed by this nasty stuff that came out look at it, it came right out this just came right out from the dragon's mouth I'm not making this up that didn't come from nowhere that came right out of this guy's mouth now there's a story that was written in ancient Hebrew text that says that the serpent or the, I mean uh, yeah maybe it was a serpent or the dragon or whatever this guy here attacked this guy here the Leviathan the fish with he attacked the Leviathan's fin with power <laughs> that's what it says I'm, I didn't make this up look it up I mean I can't find it again right away for you but it said it says this is what happened and then God came down and slew them both so there's a lot of things that are just being laughed at and thought were silly and oh blah 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 crazy people out here well totally the opposite and this is not just a monkey bone this this relates to your eternity my people and friends it, it relates to everyone's life in the hereafter if you don't believe that good for you but I believe it and everything that I have written I mean I've read that was written it seems to be true. All of the myths. Not just this one. Every single one of them. Giants, Titans, Gaia, the Earth is alive. The, the, I mean, it's, and, and we have been forced to abandon that and, and believe that everything evolved from nothing. Dead dust bumped together and then all of a sudden created little baby dead dust and so forth. Well, all I can tell you is that's pretty intelligent dead dust. And nothing happened from a Big Bang. All of this stuff is wrong. Comet 67P is, is, is biological meat in space. No question whatsoever. And NASA will not disagree with that. Because they did the chemistry that proves it. They've just gone dark on it. Nobody will talk to me about any of this stuff. Not a single, not one word in five years from academia about this. They are running from the truth. That's my last word on it. Go to Mud Fossil University on YouTube. That's the only place you are going to find reality anymore. They just don't care about reality. And this is it. And I have hundreds and hundreds of videos that are true, factual videos. Not, not any of this, oh, it must have been this, it must have been that. No. This is true stuff. And they, re they disregard all of this stuff. They will not pay attention to reality. It, it jeopardizes their livelihood. And I understand that, but it's not fair to the rest of the world. They are not the most important things here. The students are. All right? Mud Fossil University on YouTube. And if I was a student, I would be considering some kind of uh, action against uh, them for this last five years of, of uh, wasting your life. And you, now you have student loans that are unforgivable. And I'm sorry about this because nobody listened. And nobody would pay attention. Nobody would help. And they still are not helping. They're still trying to shut me down with every possible way they can. Spam lists, black lists, you name it. So all I can do is what I did. It's up to you now.